What is on the AP exam? You should be able to analyze a graph based on the interplay between geometric and analytic information. The preceding phrase comes directly from the College Board. Don't let it scare you. What the College Board really means is that you should have covered graphing in pre-calculus and you should know how to graph and how to read a graph. You should be able to calculate limits algebraically or to estimate them from a graph or from a table of data. You do not need to find limits using the delta epsilon definition of a limit. You should understand asymptotes graphically and be able to compare the growth rates of different types of functions, namely polynomial function, logarithmic functions, and exponential functions. You should understand asymptotes in terms of limits involving infinity. You should be able to test the continuity of a function in terms of limits and you should understand continuous functions graphically. You should understand the intermediate value theorem and the extreme value theorem. You should be able to find a derivative by finding the limit of a difference quotient. You should also know the relationship between differentiability and continuity. That is, if a function is differentiable at a point, it's continuous there. But if a function is continuous at a point, it's not necessarily differentiable there. You should know the power rule, the product rule, the quotient rule, and the chain rule. You should be able to find the slope of a curve at a point and the tangent and normal lines to a curve at a point. You should also be able to use local linear approximation and differentials to estimate the tangent line to a curve at a point. You should be able to find the instantaneous rate of change of a function using the derivative as and as the limit of the average rate of change of a function. You should be able to approximate the rate of change of a function from a graph or a table of values. You should be able to find higher order derivatives and to use implicit differential differentiation. These may look like a lot of topics, but they cover all the same ideas. You should be able to relate the graph of a function and the graph of its derivative and vice versa. You should know the relationship between the sign of a derivative and whether the function is increasing or decreasing. You should know how to find relative and absolute maxima and minima. You should know the mean value theorem for derivatives and rules theorem. You should be able to relate the graph of a function and the graph of its derivative and its second derivative and vice versa. This is tricky. You should know the relationship between concavity and the sign of the second derivative. Positive means concave up, negative means concave down. You should know how to find points of inflection. You should be able to sketch a curve using first and second derivatives and be able to analyze the critical points. You should be able to solve optimization problems, max-min problems, and related rates problems. You should be able to find the derivative of an inverse of a function. You should be able to solve rectilinear motion problems. You should be able to find the derivatives of trig functions, logarithmic functions, exponential functions, and inverse trig functions. You should be able to find the area under a curve using left, right, and midpoint evaluations of the trapezoidal rule. You should know the fundamental theorem of calculus. You should be able to find the area area of a region, the volume of a solid of a known cross-section, the volume of a solid of revolution, and the average value of a function. You should be able to solve acceleration, velocity, and position problems. You should know the first and second fundamental theorems of calculus and be able to use them to find the derivative of an integral and an analytical and graphical analysis of functions. You should be able to integrate using the power rule and use substitution. You should be able to find specific antiderivatives using initial conditions. You should be able to solve separable differential equations and logistic differential equations. Good luck on the AP exam!